I see this internship helping me by allowing me to get exposed to the different obstacles that I have to work with constantly. So like as I, as I see now, some of the stuff that I'm doing, which is like hands-on to me, when I go back to my classes and I'm actually taking them, you know, they're just scenarios, but I've already experienced it. So I can say, hey, I set up a server. I've already troubleshooted computers and I've added computers to the domain, um, updating computers with new like OSs or operating systems. Or, you know, if somebody has a problem, troubleshoot it for them. He is very, very good at just figuring problems out on his own. He's, um, you know, doesn't need a lot of hand-holding and just takes a lot of initiative to um, problem-solve. Um, so he's been a fantastic addition here. Um, I think it's kind of taken us all a little bit by surprise um, how capable he is and how much of an impact he's made here, um, even at such a young age. The first class you take your sophomore year may seem irrelevant, but it actually plays a huge role in what you want to do in the cybersecurity field. So I'd say constantly study and just go out there, get connections, just connect with people. He's certainly set a great path to know that um, we can really utilize um, students from, from the Howard County school system um, as interns here and, and he's done a great job thus far. But also, I mean, the school system is what helps to shape that. Um, providing guidance, um, providing structure in school and providing challenging work in the classroom that can then translate into a good work ethic out of the classroom. This school showed me that there's actually a the cybersecurity field is very big. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this field. So it just opened my eyes and it helped me prepare for certifications. When I graduate this year, I plan on continuing to move on to, well, continue my education at HCC or our community college. And after I get my associate's degree from them, go to University of Maryland, Baltimore County or UMBC to get a master's in cybersecurity and then also get a few certs behind my back, like Security Plus, CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker Cert, and Linux Plus, so on.